What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to dive into something brand new. Now in Sephora there is a new brand called Milk Makeup. It's been around for I think most of this year. I've seen a lot of YouTubers review some of their lipsticks and their eye stuff. But then, but then I log on to Sephora.com and what do I see on the front page? A holographic Highlighter! I was like, <gasps> like I really couldn't breathe. So Melk is a brand from New York and they have some really cool innovative stuff. I heard a lot of good and bad reviews about all their products. So I was like, you know what? I need to get my hands on one of these and uh, give it a whirl myself. All right, so bam. Here it is, this is the holographic stick. This shade is called Supernova. Now the packaging is really cute. It comes in like a, just a plastic, like little unicarton that you pop the lid off. <gasps> oh, and the shade name is on top, if you could see that. The lights and the hologram is just blinding. Now there is this guy and then there is another one that is a highlighter stick. Of course you guys know I gotta try both today, but this is like the star of the show for me. So you just, uh, bam, pop it off right here. Now it does have the ingredients on the bottom, which is cool. And on the side of this, it has just a little, a little tidbit. This says, a multi-use illuminating stick that instantly melts into skin using milk, melt technology. That's a tongue twister, fuck. Holographic pearls provide a prismatic finish infused with mango butter, peach nectar, avocado oil, and meteorite dust. That's cute. It just says apply to cheekbones, the lips, and eyes can be applied to bare skin or over makeup. Now, disclaimer, I know a lot of times when I have put in creams over this crazy foundation, powder, blush, contour, I'm wearing everything today except highlighter, and my blush, I used NARS Orgasm, which kind of has a sheen to it, which I should probably know from using it for 10 years, so if there's a little dewiness on my cheeks, it is from this blush, but I am not wearing a highlighter today. Now, this product contains one ounce of highlighter, and it retails for $28, so it is a little on the pricey side, but when you compare this to other brands like Becca or Estee Lauder or other brands that have highlighters, this is, no, it's not that bad for, uh, the price point and you get a lot of product I'm like I might put this under my arms on my fucking chest on my vagina let's just see what happens here now I'm gonna apply a little bit to my hand first to see what happens just so I can see the consistency <gasps> oh y'all see that Damn. oh wow it is really shiny oh my god this is like really pretty let's see if it translates on the skin now the cool thing about this product is that it is vegan and cruelty free and it is paraben free and sulfate free so this has some good ingredients i can't stop looking at my hand i'm like <gasps> <laughs> okay, now usually when I apply things directly on, sometimes it kind of like coagulates the foundation and gets weird. Not saying that this one does that, but we're gonna put it to the test. So it says that you could literally just go directly on. I think I'm definitely going to try that with one side of my face, and I might use a little synthetic brush to apply it. That's what I normally do, but let's just dive in. All right, so I'm just going to take this guy and... Bam! Oh, okay, I see that. I'm looking at my monitor like, <gasps> now but look, right off the bat, my foundation came off on the stick because this is kind of like a more greasy-like texture. This is what I was afraid of. So if you see one swipe, kind of took my foundation off, which I wear a mask, so I'm like. So I'm gonna take a little synthetic brush. This is a MAC 159, and I am just going to rub this all on the brush and get it coated. And then we're gonna go back in one more time with this. And I'm just gonna kind of pat it and buff it into the skin. All right, I am just gonna pat a little bit more on top to get the full coverage. Now it does feel kind of greasy, not oily, it just feels kind of like tacky. So definitely, it is kind of moving around my foundation. Now it says you can put it on top of makeup, but mm. All right, let me just take this a little bit above my brow because we're getting full on today. Give it a little uh, head turn. So this is the side with no highlighter. And this is the full shebang. Ooh, still tacky. A little bit came off on my finger. So it definitely has not set yet. I don't know if it does set. I guess we'll see in a minute. Um, I'm also gonna try just taking some on my finger. And I'm just gonna go, let's try to highlight this nose, baby. Oh, wow. Way more subtle than I thought. Oh, uh, no, it's, it's 
it's cute. Yeah, it's really tacky, which I don't love, but it definitely is pretty. As you see, my cheeks are like glistening right now. So I'm gonna give this five minutes to see if it dries down and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so this has not dried down. I think because it is more of like a tacky consistency, it's not gonna dry down. Now, other brands that have similar products, I usually set it with more highlighter. <laughs> so this is almost like a good base for adding on more highlight if you want, which we will do in a second. But I definitely wanna try the stick highlighter. So this is the hologram version, and this one just says highlighter. This instantly melts into the skin, same thing as uh, the hologram one, and this shade is called Lit. Speaking of Lit, one second. All right, oh Lord Jesus. All right, so same packaging as the other one, I just unscrewed the top. Now this one, ooh, this looks like a champagne color. So I'm just gonna take this on my hand, just like I did the other one, and just kind of go back and forth a few times. Ooh, okay, definitely a more like kind of champagne-y, nude -y glow. That is very pretty, okay, I see you. So this definitely feels like the hologram one, kind of like the balm, it's sticky. I'm gonna put this over my tattoos and see what happens. What's up, girl? Let's put this on your hand. I'm just gonna rub it all over. Oh, I gotta say, it smells really good, by the way. I'm like, hmm, is this edible? This one is definitely a lot more sheer than the hologram side. So I'm going to take the same brush. I'm just gonna rub that hologram off and uh, let's try this one. All right, so I'm just gonna put this on the high planes of my cheeks and just kind of pat it in. Definitely don't want to smear it around because God forbid it fucks with this foundation again. Ooh, okay. Kind of gives you that like glistened, like just had sex in the morning type of vibe. Hmm, I ain't mad at it. And then I'm just gonna put it all the way up. You guys know I'm a highlight hoe. Gotta have that product everywhere. Highlighting to me is like the appetizer and the dessert all in one. It's like contour, go away. This one is definitely a lot not less pigmented, it just has like a different vibe. It almost matches my skin tone. It kind of looks like I've been like in a sauna for a minute. God knows doing what. Okay, cool. Let me see if this one dries and I'll be right back. And just like this one, this one did not dry down. So just for fun, you guys, I'm gonna take out the Anastasia Moon Child since it does have a little hologram and the colors in here are beautiful. Um, I'm just gonna set the face with this and just see what happens. So I think Purple Horseshoe, which is this guy right here, you guys know, oh, my favorite. I feel like if I set the hologram with this side, it's gonna be a movie. So uh, let's try it. Ah! Ooh! This shit is fire. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, this hologram stick, like this is such a sick base. You guys see this fucking cheek? It's like a unicorn just came on my face. Ooh. Now obviously, uh, if you're scared of color or you don't like wearing anything outside the box. How do you want this? Um, wow. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh my god. This is like, this is makeup porn to me, you guys. It's just putting this on is making me like, Oh my god, I'm close. <laughs> now this side, let's do Lucky Clover. I used this in my neon wing liner tutorial and I was obsessed with it. Now let's just see how it looks on this side. Ooh, definitely gives it some more like depth and warmth. I'm also gonna dip into Pink Heart because why the fuck not? Now I put on a lot of the stick on both sides, of course, so I think the powder is really adhering to it. Like, holy shit. My cheeks look like they can guide home someone that's lost in space, baby. Let's dip into Blue Moon and just kinda barely touch the nose. <laughs> Bare oh my god, okay Barney, let's tone this down, girl. I can't believe I just said tone it down. Please someone come over and slap me across my face. I can't stop looking at the side, you guys, I'm like, so how are you? How are you doing, girl? It's so good to meet you. Okay, but really, all right, let's get down to it, guys. Let's talk about my final thoughts. My final thoughts on the Melk Holographic Stick and the Highlighter Stick. I think that they are amazing for putting under a powdered highlighter. Now, by itself, I think it was not enough pigment for me just because I like, I mean, I'm a unique case. I love blinding 
glowing highlighter. So I feel like if you just want an extra little uh to your makeup look and you don't really wear 20 layers of foundation like me, this is perfect. Just to, you know, slide it on up those cheeks. You can also take a little bit and put it on your eye for just a little added BAM. It's really up to you if you are a safe person or if you want that extra, extra, extra glow. But regardless, I think that these are really fun. The price point is not that bad. I love the packaging. It's sturdy. It feels heavy. These are um, a good investment for people that are just really into something different. These are really innovative and cute. And I can't wait to see what this brand um, comes out with next. So these are definitely Jeffree Star approved. I think that adding on the powder highlighters over it, I mean, this is everything. I just want to stare at myself for a minute. <laughs> Cut! Just kidding. But um, I love it. I think they're really fun. I love that more brands are diving into, you know, just trying out things that aren't conventional. You know, a lot of the times people stick to the same thing. Every brand has a highlighter, da da da, da. But it's how you, you know, change your formula and the presentation that sticks out to someone like me that has been buying makeup for so long. I feel like I've seen it all, but as all these new brands come out of the woodwork, I'm like, damn, there's some really cool stuff out there. So, Milk Makeup, I think I'm definitely gonna be buying more of your stuff to review, and uh, I'm a fan. All right, now, if you guys know of any new highlighters or if there's ever any new stuff that you want me to try, please leave some comments below and send some links my way. I'm always down to try new stuff, and when I saw Holographic, I was like, <gasps> Ooh, like I got excited like makeup just makes me excited every day when I wake up. Thank you guys so much for watching this I had so much fun trying this out. I'm gonna go stare in the mirror for a few minutes and uh, go blind my neighbor So I will see you all on the next one. Bye guys Mwah.